What is going on YouTube? I'm here again with another video. We are playing some Fringe Uplink, I believe, some Arena. Nothing too serious. But uh, nonetheless, thought it was a good game, so I decided to upload it. And today we're going to be talking about, as you can tell by the title, Hobie Bryant and his last game. In his whole career, basically. If you guys are fans of basketball, even if you are not, I'm pretty sure you guys know who the name Kobe Bryant is. Now, most of you may hate him, most of you may love him, I don't really care, I don't even know. There's a lot of different opinions out there about this guy, but what you cannot disagree with or argue with is that he is great. And his last game proved that. If you guys did not know, if you guys did not see, if you didn't look on Twitter, because it was down for a little while, because he broke it. I remember I was trying to get on Twitter, like, before the game started. And I couldn't log on, I thought it was my internet, I thought it was Twitter, I uninstalled the app off my phone, reinstalled it, and then it finally worked like 20 minutes later, but I find out later that it was because so many people were tweeting about Kobe's last game that it literally shut down the Twitter sphere, the Twitter universe. So, Kobe's last game. He scores 60 points. Keep in mind, this is a 37-year-old man playing against professional athletes. He's scoring 60 points on that. I, I, I understand, I understand. He took about 300 shots that came, which <laughs> which is hard to do, but still, at his age, at his, the amount of mileage his body has gone through, it is it is absurd that he was able to put those types of numbers. Myself, I've been... Now, I have always been a Laker fan since birth. I grew up in a Laker family. My dad grew up down in Los Angeles during the uh, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar era. It's it's in my blood, the Lakers are. The year that Kobe Bryant was drafted into the NBA was the same year that I was born. So Kobe's rookie year was basically my rookie year in life too as well. So I, I basically feel like I grew up with his career. The amount of time that he has spent in the NBA is how much time I've spent being alive on Earth. I remember all the way back when I was a little kid, probably five, probably five or six. I had my, uh, I had a Shaquille O'Neal jersey, but it was my little Lakers jersey, and I'd go watch the games with my brothers every time they were on TV. I remember that. And Kobe was always my favorite player. He just was. That was the person I always wanted to watch. He was a, he was the person that really made me fall in love with the game basketball, and that's the game that I played throughout elementary school, middle school, high school. I always played basketball. So to kind of watch his career grow and change, like. As I'm growing up too, it's like one of the, it's like a really cool thing, and to see it finally come to an end, it was pretty sad. Not gonna lie to you, try gotta hold back the tears a little bit, but I mean, it was an amazing way to end the game. I don't think, or I mean, it was an amazing way to end his career. Um, I don't think anybody could have scripted it any better to score 60 points in your final game. Like, most players don't even get to end on their own terms. Like, they, usually they get hurt, or they just like they don't, they're not playing as well, so they don't. They don't get the same minutes. They're just they're just a shell of their formal selves when they get that old. I mean, this guy's 38 years old. But he goes out there. His last game, the Lakers were terrible this year. They had a terrible season. They, they didn't even win 20 games, I think. This was their 17th, 18th win, I think. And he comes out there. Not only does he score 60 points, but he hits the game winner. He hits the shot to put them up with about... Four seconds left in the game. The most, the most amazing, most Kobe-like thing that he could have possibly done. Before the game started, I only say thought he was probably gonna get like 10, 15 points, you know, then get a standing ovation, go sit and rest the rest of the game. But he came out one time in the second half of the first quarter, I believe. But um, they were talking about on the TV he was supposed to come out, you know, he was only playing a certain amount of minutes, but he just stayed in in the second half. He didn't even come out. And how tired he must have been. I mean. After playing the whole season and then playing his last game, not like basically nonstop with very little breaks, it was. If you guys follow me on Twitter, which if you are not, I have the link in the description down below. You should go follow me on Twitter. I tweeted out in the first quarter. I tweeted out in the first quarter. It feels like Kobe's gonna get a Kobe's gonna hit a game winner or something like that. I called that. I literally called that before it even happened. At the end of the game, they're down four. Kobe hits a three, gets him down one. They get a stop, comes down, hits a two-pointer with like, there was like four seconds left in the game to put him up and they end up winning the game. It was, it was incredible. 
But I mean, that's just the type of stuff that Kobe has always done throughout his career. It's not, it's not anything new, and it's it's amazing that he was able to do that on his last game. I don't think there will ever be another NBA player to score 60 points in their final game, like when they know it's their last game too. It was, it was one of the most incredible games. I that was probably his third most impressive game that I've seen out of him. I mean, this is the guy that scored 81 points in a game, like. I don't even think that will ever be broken again. I'm not such a huge Kobe fan, though, that I'm going to say, oh, he's better than Jordan. He's the best player of all time. Because Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player. He always, I think he always will be. But for the 2000s, for the 2000 era, Kobe Bryant has been the best. Kobe is the closest thing to Michael Jordan that there has ever, and I think it will ever be. But Kobe Bryant from 2000 to 2010 was the best player, and there were great players in there. He had to deal with Allen Iverson. He had to deal with... Uh, Shaq once Shaq left, he had Dwayne Wade, LeBron James coming into the league. He had all these players and he was still always better than them. For That was for an entire decade. He won five championships in ten years. To me, Kobe Bryant was the best player when I was growing up. He was the person I always watched. He was... He was constantly able to like, to like change and adapt his career to always be a winning because I mean he won three championships with Shaq and then Shaq leaves and everybody was saying he couldn't win another one and he changed adapted got a whole new team and came back and won back-to-back -back championships he could have had another three beat if they didn't lose to the Celtics but I don't even want to talk about that overall Kobe just had an amazing career which is it literally parallels with my life like when he came into the league and when I was born it's like only a few months separate that so growing up and watching his whole change and growth along with my life too it's really something that I don't feel a lot of people get to experience. I did get to go see him play this year I did go watch them play the uh, Portland Trailblazers earlier in the year before he before he announced that this was his final go around. Every NBA game that I went to go see in my life has been uh, a Lakers game with Kobe uh, whether it was going to see the Blazers or my brother who lives in Sacramento would go see a Kings game play the Lakers I've just been a really big Kobe fan. I saw like a day later on Twitter that people were trying to sell uh, Ziploc bags of air that said uh, Kobe Bryant's final game. So people took uh, Ziploc bags to the arena, I guess, and just zipped it up in there with the air inside and are selling it for like a dollar. Which, I mean, honestly, if it wasn't so ridiculous. I mean, I might just, if there are any left, I mean, hit me up if you got a, if you got a bag of Kobe air, let me know. But I'm sorry if you guys are not huge basketball fans. Um, I understand it's not everybody's cup of tea, but basketball has been something that's always been like, that was like my first passion growing up as a kid. Um, I'm a very competitive person, and the first kind of way I was able to let that out as a kid was with playing basketball. And I don't know, I've just grown up with the Lakers and uh, grown up with Kobe and watching watching how everything ended, everything turned out. It's it's a pretty amazing thing to me at least. I have no idea what they're gonna do next year. I mean, they were they were god awful this year. Like the one, of the second worst team. Hopefully, we get a really good lottery pick, draft somebody good, maybe make a trade, get a big name coming to LA. Maybe Kevin Durant. You know, hmm? Hmm? you never know. I don't know. I I think I'll always be a Laker fan no matter what. Um, I'm none of these bandwagoners who are like, oh yeah, I'm a Golden State Warrior fan. They're so good. No, no, I've stuck by the Lakers. I've been a true Laker fan, even through all the bad years, because the last few years have been pretty, pretty terrible for them. I still just can't believe he scored 60 points in his last game. Like that was just mind blowing. But, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. Um, I think I get the dunk towards the end of this game. Uh, we were down one. Take the lead. Keep my win streak alive in arena, because you know how important that is. <laughs> I wish they would have brought back the original uh, Black Ops 2 League play instead of this new, I, I don't even know, like there's no real rank system, it's just like every time you win you like level up once, I don't know, it's kind of stupid, but I don't know why it's so hard to just bring back the good stuff that was in Black Ops 2, like League play, which was fine, worked out perfectly, but I don't know, but I will be uploading more this week, uh, new DLC maps are coming out, I'll have some more competitive gameplays going up on my channel, so subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, that's about the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.